Hi and welcome to Stealth Security. In this video, we will look at how to brute force a SSH login using Hydra. You can also try this tutorial hands-on using our custom TryHackMe lab and you can find a link for it in the description below. Hydra is a brute force tool. Hydra can help us crack passwords by performing fast brute force attacks against more than 50 protocols. This includes Telnet, FTP, HTTP, HTTPS, SMB databases and several other services. Hydra is designed for speed and optimized to handle multiple threats simultaneously. This makes Hydra extremely faster than many other alternatives when performing brute force attacks. Hydra also allows us to tweak parameters like username, password lists, proxy usage, timeout settings. It provides amazing flexibility for a lot of scenarios. Hydra is also completely open source, so it is constantly updated and improved by the community so that it is always compatible with modern protocols and vulnerabilities. We usually use brute force tools along with the word list. A word list is the simplest of words, in this case, a list of passwords. If you're looking for subdomains using a different enumeration tool, you will be using a subdomain word list. For this tutorial, we will use the famous Rocky word list. It has over 14 million passwords and was created out of the data breach of the Rocky.com site in 2009. If you're using Kali Linux, you can find this Rocky word list under user share word list slash Rocky.txt. So let's look at the syntax of Hydra. It's very simple. Hydra hyphen L for usernames. You can use capital L to load a list of usernames from a file. And we use hyphen P for passwords and a capital P for a list of passwords, in this case a word list. Then we add the protocol name followed by the IP address. So let's start the server from the lab and grab its IP address. We will do a quick nmap scan of the server and let's see if port 22 is open. Port 22 is where the SSH service is hosted. Great. We can see that port 22 is open. Now let's try and crack the server. Please note that this approach works only when SSH is password protected and has a very weak password, which surprisingly many systems do. Modern SSH servers have better protections like public key authentication and cannot be cracked by simple brute force attacks. Now we need a username and a list of passwords. For simplicity's sake, let's assume that we found a username Molly through a research who has access to the server. Let's use that username and the Rocky word list to try and crack the password. Let's enter the syntax of Hydra. It's Hydra hyphen L Molly and hyphen capital P with a path to word list, which is user share wordless Rocky.txt, followed by the protocol, which is SSH and the IP address from the lab. Let's run it. T4 is the number of threads, which means four attempts to crack the password, which is happening at the same time. You can increase or decrease the threats based on your needs. Let's wait for it to run. You can see that Hydra has cracked the password and found it to be butterfly. Not a very great password. This is the reason you should set strong passwords in every server or application you use. If you use weak passwords, tools like Hydra can quickly crack them. The stronger the password, the harder it is to brute force it. I hope this video helped you to get a quick understanding of how brute force attacks work. If you want to try more labs like this and learn from some live hacking sessions, join us at the Hackers Hub. We have courses, workshops, and most importantly, an active community of ethical hackers who help each other learn. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you have questions, let me know in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you soon with a new topic. Cheers.